From Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Here's Chris Carl. Among Delaware's top stories for Wednesday, December 5th, a dose of snow is on the way. The investigation continues into yesterday's fatal plane crash at Newcastle Airport. And a death is reported at the Delaware Psychiatric Center. Here are the details. You are going to see some snowflakes today. It looks like this Al Alberta clipper will cut across Indiana and southern Ohio this morning and then move off the mid-Atlantic coast early tonight, and that's going to bring us some snow. Probably see some snowflakes in the air before lunchtime. I don't think there's any problem for the morning rush hour, but the snow will probably reach its peak during the uh, evening commute and, uh, and then taper off by about 9 o'clock tonight. So in that window, we could see a coating of an inch. Some places may get a couple of inches of snow out of this, but nothing more. Dover and places south may get two to three inches, but things will clear out by tomorrow morning and temperatures will warm up slightly by Friday, melting any leftover snow. A small plane crash at the Newcastle Airport has killed its pilot, Daniel Hart of Centerville. WDEL's Melanie Armstrong has more details. Winds were gusting to more than 30 miles an hour at the airport when the Beechcraft Duke twin-engine six-seater took off at 7.22 a.m. from runway 27. Eyewitnesses indicated that the plane climbed at a high rate a uh, high angle of attack, banked to the left at 90 degrees, and then banked again and barrel rolled into the ground. One person is uh, confirmed dead, and the aircraft was completely destroyed. The plane got no more than 500 feet off the ground before something went wrong. A wind advisory was issued for small craft, but the winds weren't bad enough to keep pilots on the ground. An experienced pilot would be, typically be able to handle something like that. So you might immediately suspect mechanical or something like that or, or factors. I'm sure that w wind was a contributing factor, but uh, we don't know yet. The plane was in the air for just a few seconds before something went wrong. The plane had no black box, so investigators will have to sift through debris and use eyewitness accounts to figure out what happened. Melanie Armstrong, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. Paramedics say a patient at the Delaware Psychiatric Center was found unresponsive Sunday and taken to Christiana Hospital, where he died hours later. The man's mother tells the News Journal that she was told her son died from blood clots in his lungs. Department of Health and Social Services spokesman Jay Lynch says the death was reported to the medical examiner by Christiana Hospital. However, the News Journal says the death was not reported by the psychiatric center to at least two agencies investigating patient care. Rita Landgraf, a co-chair of Governor Minter's DPC task force, says officials need trending data on deaths to fix systemic flaws. She favors an independent, formalized review of every death within the facility. Coming up, an early Christmas present for state workers. WDEL News continues in a moment. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. Wilmington man is dead five days after being shot in the head and four days after police mistakenly reported he had died. 21-year-old Omar Kennard was found shot Thursday night on West 4th Street in Wilmington, one of five people shot over the course of several hours in separate incidents. Police are now looking for information from the public on the identity and whereabouts of Kennard's killer. A Collins Park teenager is safe at home after being pistol-whipped and kidnapped yesterday. According to the victim's grandfather, four armed suspects forced their way into his home and found the boy asleep in his bed. After hitting the victim with a gun, he was forced to drive the suspects to Hampton Green, where they broke into a home and took several things. County police saw the car a short time later and arrested Dekevis Johnson of Wilmington and Aaron Skinner of Newark, charging them both with burglary, kidnapping, carjacking, and conspiracy. A new study shows global warming affects our area of the country by increasing the frequency of extreme storms. Environment America, a statewide citizen-based advocacy organization, conducted a study called When It Rains, It Pours, which says storms with heavy rainfall are 42 percent more frequent in the Mid-Atlantic than they were 60 years ago. Officials say heavy rains won't solve our drought problems, but rather make them worse, since lots of rain falling at one time stalls the natural evaporation cycle, which could lead to big problems with our water supply. That's happened in, in, in say, 30-year cycles in the past, but now that climate change is involved, uh, I'm convinced we, we will uh, see more intense, more frequent storms, more intense, frequent droughts. 
It has significant implications for northern Newcastle County, which relies mainly on streams for its water supply. If the water is not getting into the ground, it's not providing the base flow for the streams that we're taking water out of for drinking water. The Mid-Atlantic region ranks second nationwide for the largest increase in the frequency of major storms. And Governor Minner has a holiday gift for state employees, another day off. She declared that Monday, December 24th, will be an additional holiday for state government and most government offices will be closed. Minner says state employees work hard all year to serve the people, so she wants to recognize that commitment by allowing them to spend an extra day with their family. The Flyers make a controversial addition to their roster. WDEL Sports and your Delaware AccuWeather forecast coming up. When it comes to flooring, great style doesn't have to be expensive, especially when you shop at Carpet One Floor and Home. Our 1,000-store buying power gives you the best prices on hardwood, carpet, tile, laminate, and more, including brands you'll find exclusively at Carpet One Floor and Home, like Liz Claiborne Home, Good Housekeeping with Resista, and Lee's, all with guaranteed installation and no payments for one year. See how easy it is to find your perfect style. Shop in-store, online, or in-home, only at Carpet One Floor and Home. I'm Peter MacArthur. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware, every weekday morning, 5.30 till 9, on 1150 AM WDEL. In WDEL Sports, tonight's the start of a new era for the 76ers. They're doing it against one of the NBA's best teams. The Sixers are hosting 14-2 Boston tonight in the first game since Ed Stefanski was named the team's general manager, replacing Billy King. Stefanski is a Philadelphia area native and most recently the GM with the New Jersey Nets. The Flyers have added a controversial figure to their lineup tonight at Minnesota. They called up rookie Steve Downey from the AHL Phantoms to take the place of Raleigh Cote, who was suspended for three games by the NHL for a hit he delivered in Saturday's game. Downey was himself suspended 20 games by the NHL for a flying check against an Ottawa player in the preseason. And the Eagles are still thinking playoffs in large part to a mediocre NFC. The Birds are still in the wild card playoff hunt, even though they're five and seven. The Giants are the top wild card team at eight and four, next a couple of six and six teams, then the Eagles and others at five and seven. The Birds expect to have Donovan McNabb back in the lineup this Sunday when they take on the Giants at the link. Your WDEL Delaware Accu with a forecast cloudy today. Snow starting. Late this morning, continuing through the evening, a coating to an inch accumulation possible. Today's high at 35. Then clearing tonight, the low of 20. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, high 36. And by Friday, warming up just a bit, mostly cloudy, a high of 43. Good news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 11.50 a.m. And get WDEL News text alerts sent to your cell phone. Sign up here at WDEL.com. I'm Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.